hello and welcome to my second stream I have played during this week a little bit with my microphone so I really hope this time it will be much better than at my first stasis walkthrough and yeah enjoy the second game from the Brotherhood the same company which uh, played which made uh, the stasis which I played last week uh, it's horror adventure game and yeah I enjoyed the stasis a lot so immediately I got this one as well the basic game is uh, free on Steam and GOG and as you can see I'm playing the GOG conversion of the game uh, but if you like the game you can purchase separately the del deluxe content from the both stores because I loved uh, Stasis a lot I did that already so let's start and see how is their second game I don't want a child. I've never wanted one. I, I had a plan and this wasn't part of it. Relax. I promise this won't hurt a bit. How would he know? <laughs> Thanks. Just a few more items to check off and we can start. Name and ID? Hadley, 140 3121 09. And the procedure is being paid for by a third party? Yes. The no explanation needed. No family listed? No family. It's just me. A special order here. Ah, that's for me. Right then. Let's begin. Nurse. Now, count back from ten. <sighs> ten. Nine. You'll be just fine, sweetie. Eight. Seven. You must be awake during the extraction procedure. 
Fetal extraction pre check. No longer present. Fetal extraction cancelled. Jesus. Still pregnant. Fetal extraction? This is all because of the baby? Think of this as a bad dream. You must be aware of the extraction procedure. Please remain calm. I'm pregnant. I am pregnant. This isn't right. Your selfless gift to science will be remembered for generations to come. Okay, looks like shit hit the fine right at the beginning, and oh, it's getting the same atmosphere as Stasis. Oh, first thing first, let's save it. If swollen motley tissue gapes swiftly around the scalpel now stuck in his vertebra. A pungent green gas escapes from his severed breathing apparatus. After the removal of your womb, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift to science will be remembered for generations to come. Please remain calm. Please remain calm. You might prefer to think of this as a bad dream. You must be awake during the extraction procedure. Please remain calm. After the removal of your womb, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift to science will be remembered. Scan complete. Subject no longer present. Fetal extraction cancelled. You think of this as a bad dream. You must be awake during the extraction procedure. Please remain calm. After the removal of your womb, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift to science will be remembered for generations to come. Please remain calm. Please remain calm. You might prefer to think of this as a bad dream. You must be awake during Happy Mother's Day. Please remain calm. Not very happy. After the removal of your womb, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift to science will be remembered. For this is crazy. This is batshit crazy. I am crazy. Software updated. 0001901. Failure to extra the uterus. Recalibration in progress. 98. Zero two successful removal of uterus without endometrium tearing. Eight ninety-eight point three successful removal of uterus without endometrium tearing software updated. After the removal of your womb, you will drift back to sleep. 
197.4 file with extract uterus file with okay logs and notices log 998 of 998 dr adams level 9 calibration joseph bueno level 5 software update version 313 error danny bovland replay integration hank service hank extraction joseph bueno bono level 5 software update version 3.14 error error no valley target selected and that this good contains the medical records of one patient let's use it with computer terminal no Target selected. You must be awake during the extraction procedure. Please remain calm. After the removal of your wing, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift signs will be remembered for generations to come. Please remain calm. What am I missing? You might prefer to think of this as a bad dream. You must be awake during the extraction procedure. Please remain calm. After the removal of your wing, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift signs will be remembered for generations to come. Please remain calm. Please remain calm. Error. No valley target selected. Bad dream. You must be awake during the extraction procedure. Please remain calm. After the removal of your wing, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift signs will be remembered for generations to come. Please remain calm. Please remain calm. You might prefer to think of this as a bad dream. You must be awake during the extraction procedure. Please remain calm. After the removal of your wing, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift signs will be remembered for generations to come. Scan complete. Subject no longer present. Fetal extraction cancelled. Please remain calm. After the removal of your wing, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift signs will be remembered for generations to come. Please remain calm. Please remain calm. You might prefer to think of this as a bad dream. You must be awake during the extraction procedure. Please remain calm. After the removal of your wing, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift signs will be remembered for generations to come. Please remain calm. Please remain calm. You might prefer to think of this as a bad dream. You must be awake during the extraction procedure. Please remain calm. 
After the removal of your wing, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift size will be remembered for a generation to come. Please remain calm. I think. You might prefer to think of this as a bad dream. You must be awake during the extraction procedure. Please remain calm. After the removal of your wing, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift size will be remembered for generations to come. Please remain calm. You might prefer to think of this as a bad dream. Hmm. You must be awake during the extraction procedure. Please remain calm. After the removal of your wing, you will drift back to sleep. Your selfless gift size will be remembered for generations to come. Please remain calm. Please remain calm. You might prefer to think of this as a bad dream. You must be awake during the extraction procedure. Scan. It worked! Subject in place. Feet is ready for extraction. Begin womb extraction process. Breathe, Hadley. Breathe. You. To think a fall could have been a good thing for me a few months ago. Oh, uncalled for, Hadley. Funny, but uncalled for. Okay, let's try to get up. Maybe. Because of the PDA. <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, that's what... That's what stayed from the scalpel which I used on the fat guy.
The plastic membrane of the tiles has melted in the heat, molten craters blistering the surface. Crashed computer terminal. Let's check the PDA. Hank. Ew, gross. March 23. Alice is sick. Clubs on her of her hair were falling out while I brushed it before her bedtime story last night, and this morning she was listless and pale and leaky. Mother says the food in the facility is bad, and just to be safe, I started feeding her protein powder from my own stash. But I think it's something in her IV lines. We pump a lot of unregulated experimental chemicals through the hoods, and maybe their blood has become contaminated. I need to find a new source, perhaps a sample from the brood. My sister's health trumps getting busted snooping around Kern's menagerie again, and I need to resupply my brood gas canisters anyway. Besides, it's an opportunity for scientific research, like Dr. Adams would quip. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it, but I laugh anyway. Mother says I need to laugh at jokes or people will think I'm creepy. I've decided to make a list of behavioral prompts and appropriate responses because this social stuff can get complicated. March 24. Behavioral prompts and appropriate responses. First, laugh if somebody makes a joke. Two, blame Joseph if somebody else complains that body parts are going missing from the bio waste disposal units or blame one of the cane techs instead. Three, question mark. April 8th. Lucy is responding to the new treatment. Lucy is Alice. Was Alice. I think the name suits her better. Since she got her new face last week, she just looks more like Lucy now. We had an intern once named Lucy. She had the same freckles on her nose. That was before Thuff. The other me, when I was much older. It's confusing. I asked Dr. Adams about that, and he explained that because of the accident, my memories are not always reliable. So it's possible I dreamed up that uh, part about her subsequent vivisection, but the screams and the tears, and the way her organs gleamed in the surgical light seems so real, and more than a bit erotic, I'll admit. One interesting, if somewhat unexpected, consequence of the new blood transfusion source is that Lucy now excretes a mucosal substance, not entirely dismissal, dissimilar in effect to the brood gas. Oral ingestions certainly produce a comparable analgetic response. I've started scraping it off her skin and storing it in specimen jars because mother says licking my own sister is improper. Don't lick your sister. Whatever, but now I can carry it around with me and use it when the pain becomes too much. So it's also more practical this way. May 30, 31. Work has been very busy. Two batches of hosts have be have had to be terminated ahead of schedule due to a series of malfunctions with mother's product viability evaluation chip. There's been a lot of engineers and cleaners in and out of the lab, so I moved Lucy from the storage closet in the atmospheric control room for now. My reputation around the facility is problematic enough already, and I don't need somebody finding her and making things even worse. Mother says they wouldn't understand. There's also much more space in the atmospheric control room, so as soon as I resolve the issue with her left leg, I think I'll teach Lucy how to do the vaults. I've been reading about maggot therapy for treating necrosis and, I th and a sample of Kern's larvae recently turned up in the lab. Time for some more scientific research. The armchair 
the arm chip failures have made Dr. Adams even more anxious than usual, and today I heard him asking Joseph about irregularities in the lab security access lock. I've seen Joseph lurking around in the lab with a woman late at night sometimes, but he told Dr. Adams he doesn't know anything about it. Dr. Adams believed him because he believes everything Joseph tells him. Or maybe Dr. Adams just doesn't want Joseph to get into trouble for some reason. The way he so obviously ignores Joseph's uh, extracurricular activities with the house, for example. He is very protective of the man. Julie 13th. I had to amputate Lucy's left leg last night, although the maggot therapy showed some superficial improvement initially. Initially, the necrotic progression was apparently already too advanced and parts of the limb had started to liquefy. What a mess. We got a new batch of hosts fresh from Kane family planning to prep for second stage product incubation this week, so I should be able to find a suitable replacement donor. The problems with mother have persisted on and off, however, and she says the engineers want to wipe and reinstall her operating system. I can't allow this to happen. What if mother doesn't love me anymore? What if she forgets me? September 18. Hadley is sick again. Oh, Hadley is Lucy. Used to be Lucy. I've decided to call her Hadley now because I saw the name on a host's file and I think it's really pretty. The host is really pretty too. So is her left leg. Anyway, I sp suspect the Hadley's new illness is related to the fungus that's contaminated the air vents all over the facility, which means a total lockdown at this level. Her mouth and nostrils are clogged with a slimy substance, and the lung biopsy revealed a startling but impressive range of mycotoxin of unknown taxonomy. Several of her teeth have fallen out, and her mucosal excretion smells like ammonia. Between this and the recent incidents with mother, I've been thinking about an escape plan. Getting Hadley and mother to elevator will be difficult, though, and even if I could, my lack of epidity won't allow escape. There was some fungus contamination in the ship in Stasis game as well, so... Let's check it a little bit more. This terminal has been locked due to a security event. Let's check the rest of the facility. First. Maybe the PDA.
Can't reach. Can't reach. On second thought, nope. Ain't gonna work. Too bad. It looks like a shrine. Maybe stabbing that oaf wasn't such a bad thing. Looks like I found Lucy. It's so dark. What? Hello? Who's there? It's dark in here. I can't see anything. I can't see you. Who are you? Why... Why can't I see? What's happened to my eyes? Where are... What? What is that feeling? My hands. My feet. My fucking skin. I found some spares. What? Nothing. Bad joke. Where am I? Okay, okay. Keep calm. Was I... Was I in an accident? I don't know. I, th I think I can smell blood. Well... Uh, I'm Hadley. I, I can't... Can't remember my name. Can't remember. It'll come back to you. I'm sure it'll come back to you. Hello? You there? Um, it's dark, but I can hear muffled noises. I hear a rattle through my toes. Speak up, buddy! Alone again. Well, as alone as I can be with a kiddo inside me. Rusted blood and candle books and something that smells like ammonia. An obscene grotesque of amputated mismatched body parts crudely stitched together like some monstrous meat marionette. Ock. Sayum brand is now banned in Earth colonies, but Kane Corporation managed to acquire most of the remaining product stock before it was incinerated. <laughs> okay, okay. No! Maybe... 
Probably not. Access denied. Ain't nobody got time for this. Maybe if I jam it in. On second thought, I'm getting desperate. Right. Getting desperate is <laughs> the right word. Let's check back. <laughs> okay. Breathe, Hadley. This must be a side effect. You're still asleep. Nobody got time for this.
I don't think so. Hmm. I'm a little lost now. I'm missing something, but I have no clue what. <laughs> okay, okay. No. thought that you need a little bit of powder to find the finger trip tips. Okay, let's calibrate the server. Server calibration in progress. It worked. Let's see.
Blade. Got it. A sharp edge lancet removed from the extraction apparatus. Interesting. A way out. Probably not a good idea. Okay, let's go check the new exit. <laughs> Somebody there! I can't see shit through this bleeding plasma shield. Uh, hello? What the fuck? How you get in here, eh? I came in from the service shaft. Came down the fucking service shaft, eh? You think I'm fake? You're taking the piss? You a spy or something? What? Of course not. This slag thinks I believe her. Eh? Just came down to serve this pipe, eh? Well, listen here, bitch. Just come a little closer, and I'll teach you what a service pipe is. He rides in a shirt concealing clump of his own intestinal viscera, and still, <laughs> he is bitching. <laughs> First field sudden unexpected activation has propelled one half of this man's body onto the other side of the room. Uh I found your um legs. Oh bugger up! Don't you fucking touch those, I still need them! Sweet cheese and crackers. Don't make a joke, it's not funny, Hadley. ID. Maybe we will open the thingy up there. Let's say just to be sure.
Terminal with the ID card. <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay, let's try to cut off the leg from the <laughs> lower half of the guy. Bird wants some of old Darn, eh? Her and her ankle by her. Probably here to turn off his stasis pod. I can get help! Oh, the Minga wants to help now. Probably caused the explosion that activated the blast shoot. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm literally the only person who can help you right now. No! You can sit right there! Listen to me die. <coughs> Maybe we'll all die together. When security gets here. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I'll help you, but I gotta... I gotta get out of here, and the only way is through that door. Glass shield's up, honey. Power's running, yeah? I know why it's coming down, but we still got juice. Face it, lass. Security's gonna fry your little ass. So oh, let's use this. No? Inventory booking. <laughs> this will be pretty long game, probably. <laughs> I'm 
access granted. Yes. Ten out of ten. What's this? Omni tool. A versatile assortment of screwdrivers, pliers, wire cutters, utility blades, and other basic tools. Attachments in the one convenient modular kit. <laughs> Let's get that core out. Maybe with this. Then laugh. I won't hurt you. Don't mess with the big boy toys now.
Yeah. Safety protocols disabled. Past hour. You gone and release the fucking devil, you stupid cocksucker. trying to move. They had me strapped down while they tried to kill me. Who is there? Hey, them. Whoever took me. Whoever took you. Let's check the PDA first. Daniel Boland, March the 1st, New Year's resolutions. Very late, but who gives a shite? A few things I could improve on. First, teach Moose even more cuss words. He is such a marvelous bird. I'm training him to call Sharon a fucking freak. It ain't a lie, is it? She has a screwed up arm, leg and face. She will be genuinely surprised when I reveal this delight to her, just having a laugh. 2. Tone my body by increasing my cheese intake to a wheel a day. Works the bubbles and adds to my sophisticated charms. Cheese is classy. 3. Focus on my new VIP task. Managing the quantum fusion plant is really an easy gig. No, I won't let that on. Yeah, but I push, push a few buttons, add a bit of grease here and there, and bobs your uncle. My single purpose in life is to keep the turbines spinning and well looped. I will keep focused so I don't botch anything up. Life support system, who needs them? What kind of ears does an engine have? Engineers. 4. Cement my place as the charming entertainment of this facility. Every morning at Brecky, I will stand up and take the piss. I plan to work the crew's unique personalities into my comedy routine. Just having a laugh. They'll love that. Probably grill more birds than George Foreman. 5. Drink more wine. 
what goes better with cheese here. Yeah? Cheese and wine is extra classy. Six. Cultivate my own curd. I found a rather unique culture growing on one of the shipping containers outside the PDT printer labs. I have also nicked a flask of some untested milk. The juice they used to keep her nippers happy. With a little love it should taste and smell better than a mature cheddar. Oh fuck it, who am I kidding? My plank is, too, is just to be more awesome than I was last year. As if that is even possible. June the 4th Moose my soul at least a souleth hath in dreams of thee, and there I knows an Eden of bland repose. Oh, what a cunt. This thing sliced that charming gentleman in half. Ooh. Oh, it's not important. Not right now. Let's check a little bit back if something happened with the explosion. <coughs> Still everything sealed. Okay, let's go to the new <laughs> doors.
A monster! An animal! Then run! No! No, it's okay. I'm safe. Thank goodness. It, um... It hit the electric perimeter. I think that startled it. That's good. <laughs> Not good. The elevator's on the other side of that same fence. Oh. That's bad. Hopefully if I get to the elevator, it... Whatever it is won't be there. I'm going with a glass half full approach. <laughs> you need to protect yourself. Find a weapon. I can't go one on one with that thing. Like, especially in this state. I feel so slow. It's huge. And it's covered in blood. You think it killed everyone? Killed eight? I don't know. But this place is deserted. Maybe when the power went off. I let that thing out. Well, they got what they deserved. Oh, God. Did I? They killed them all. They deserved it! They blinded me! Tried to kill you and your child! They deserved it. Yes. Yeah, I guess. Survival of the fittest. Man to man. Woman. Man to woman. Just keep moving, Hadley. I'm counting on you. Your baby is counting on you. <laughs> it's because of this baby that I'm in this damn mess. Okay, we need to get here. So, we need some clues to find how to open the stuff.
What would your mother say? Oh, notice one one two. Attention, all staff. Due to a security event, the password for the PDT printer lab has been reset to plus play play play. Okay, that's what I was searching for. Let's check one more time here if something is here. <coughs> no, still the same. Let's go to the PDT printer room.
timber crate, scratched metal. GRK. Whatever. Let's check the fuse box. The fuse is melted. Hmm. Don't worry, little guy. I'm not that stupid. Don't worry, little guy. I'm not that stupid. Fuse box. Grasping at straws, Hadley. Exactly. Don't worry, little guy. I'm not that stupid. Maybe if I... wait, nope. Oh, fudge sickles. Ain't gonna work.
Yeah, it's official. I'm losing my mind. Only... Nope. Call JB for a good time. Seems like a bad idea. Yes, yes, yes! Uh, no, no, no. No. Don't worry, little guy. I'm not that stupid. What am I missing? What am I missing?
Ripley. And three is I fifteen six. Bro. What was I thinking? Lol, what's this? If I could only... No. Maybe if I... Wait, no.
That worked out better than I thought it would. <laughs> Funny. Easy. You just need to do some lucky stuff and then <laughs> it starts to work. Well done, me. I mean, gee whiskers. What is it? It's brains. Brains? Brains. Animal? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Blood stand bed. The cloying stench of putrefaction hangs like a pall over the plastic pellet. Let's check the PDA first. Sharon Kane Musk. January 27. That fucking bitch, I mean, I get it. She's John Dotra, she's a big deal or whatever. But I'm Kane, and that spoiled brat needs to know her place. So maybe I'm not her bi biological mother, not some nobody got her war from the dust colonies, but her father and I are lovers now, and she has to accept that and show some respect. I think I'm going to start insisting that she call me mother just for today's insolence, and I can probably use John's pathetic piety to ply the two of them of each other when she inevitably defies me. That should be amusing. Besides, without me, the whole team would be totally screwed because I'm the only one who can go s near Samantha. Me, not Julia, not even John. Me. February 10. Samantha and I have a mutual understanding, I think. Uh, exp experiential bond. Me with my disabilities and she with her idiosyncrasies. Ever since the stroke, people treat me like I'm different, like I'm other, so I can empathize with her. She's more than just a product to me. She's a collaborator, a conspirator, even it's not like anybody else knows about our special experiments. The CEO has arrived at the facility. If I hadn't handled some of the paperwork myself, I probably have known anyway because John was especially devoted about his purification rituals. When we met last night, I was still scrubbing blood out of upholstery this morning, the shit I tolerate for my career prospects. March 23 Since when I am accountable to the fucking support staff, that Danny Boland has become a constant and insufferable insufferable nuisance, skulking around my lap and asking too many questions. He is in charge of managing the facility's life support system, not our research work. I told Samanda about it. She said I should bring her Danny's pet parrot. I think she said that it's the kind of thing she would say. Note, during the weekend inventory I noticed that two grubs are missing from habitats. Julia Sleazy friend from Mind Transfer has been hanging around our department lately and he's expressed an overall -like keen interest in our specimens. Did we take them? And for what? Number 95211. Message from Sharon Kane Mask to Danny Boland. Accident. Your bird got into Samantha's bed, tangled up somehow, and was killed. It may be some consolation to know that despite such a regrettable tragedy, we've gleaned valuable 
information about Samantha's behavior in the process. She prefers to prolong the suffering of her prey, for example. This could be useful in our research. Sorry about that, Sharon. June 6. I think that John and Julia aren't talking to each other. Between the food poisoning epidemic, a frustrating lack of real progress in our department's work and her consistent refusal to properly acknowledge me as part of the family, I guess some, everything is a bit volatile at the moment. Samantha thinks it's hilarious. But I'm questioning my own precarious position in the middle of things now. John is locking himself up in his office and sulking all day isn't exactly helping me. And Julia's son and disregard is now turning into blatant hostility. Not fucking constructive, Sharon. June 18. Samantha has been sort of subdued for the last week or so. She won't tell me f what the problem is, but I think it might be something to do with the temperature in the labs. Dany Boland is enforcing new atmosphere maintenance regula regulations, ostensibly to eliminate thermal fluctuations in food storage as a possible reason for the ration spoiling. But I suspect it's petty revenge for the parrot incident, with the temperature now kept below the habitat usual 95 degrees. However, Samantha grubs are drowsy and morose. Julie first. I visited the atmospheric control room today to see if I could adjust the temperature in our labs, and I made the most intriguing discovery. Somebody has been collecting body parts and making some sort of thing, an organic simulacrum maybe. I must assume this is some secret, obviously. Desperate new research development in Dr. Adams' department, so I told John and Julia about it. Tensions have now been temporarily forgotten as our team redoubles its own efforts to resolve the problems of advanced organ growth. Samantha has become increasingly uncooperative, though. I think she liked it when everybody was preoccupied with circumstantial drama, and not her. September 19. My personal stem cell therapy project had, has had some unanticipated results. I've developed what appears to be a cluster of sphincter-like gland ducts around my lower abdomen, groin and upper thighs, somewhat resembling those found in the more nature grub specimens that emit some sort of musky jellyish discharge, perhaps a pheromone. Did I mix up my glial regeneration sequences or were the sample or were the samples contaminated? It doesn't matter now. Jones Jones become obsessed with them. I suppose the flagellation sink should have clued me into his predilection of kink for kinky sex stuff, but his but this is a whole other level. I won't lie though. It's kind of hot. Clinical improvement of my on my mobility and speech issue is limited, however, so that's a bust. Uh, looks like some someone is into tentacles. December nineteenth. We've been in lockdown for a week and briefly brief and only briefly released today for an emergency drill. Something is going on around here, but nobody's talking about it. First the food poisoning, then the fungus infestation, and now what? I'm down to my last pack of cigarettes. I shouldn't have taken this fucking assignment. I'm not even directly related to Kane, only through marriage. And my second cousins at that, but here I am. Stuck in this crumbling science museum, sleeping with a decapit zealot pervert and trying to mend my troubled relationship with the creature from the Black Lagoon because it's the only really meaningful thing I have in here. What have I become? Email number 954110 Private message from Julia Kern to Sharon Kemas Rare project Project update Sharon we need to discuss the situation with Samantha, it's important. Meet me in the birthing lab nexus in 15 minutes. Okay. Birth lab. 
play lightning flag and plus a new code. Personal data tag printer. Oh, PDT. This must be how they're making the security tags. There must be an easier way. <laughs> this facility seems to do things the hard way. I've heard of spinal tagging on animals, right into the nervous system. Maybe this is like an upgrade. But these aren't animals. Sure we are. We're just meat puppets. Meat puppets? You had an interesting child. Hi, friend. I'm Ralph. Let's print a PDT together. Okay, it looks like I need to find blank PDT, PDT template in cryo-regulator to get out of the facility. A swirling mass of neon particle makes up an animated and anatomically accurate model of a human skull. The effect is probably much more disconcerting than the lab designers intended. Okay, birthing lab nexus. So it's play lightning flag plus unlock. Is there anything else you can make out around you? No. A deep thumping noise. Like a machine. Another generator, maybe? Focus on the last thing you do remember. I, I can't. There are, there are, there are flashes. A hospital. Family. They... Well, they didn't like me much. <laughs> Join the club. They wanted... Wanted what I have. Oh? What's that? Money. My name. Then they left me. Or I pushed them away. Why? They weren't good enough. They weren't willing to put in the hard work. Wanted to be given things. Given. The things that I bled over. Well, I don't talk to Mother anymore. And my dad... Well, no clue who he is. She was distant. Maybe she was always like that. Maybe I was just unlikable. She sure made it clear. 
often enough that I was too much like him. That she saw too much of him in me. I'm sorry, Hadley. Sometimes we unintentionally hurt the ones we love. Such greeting card bullshit. You don't hurt the people you love, you love the people you love. Okay, it's about two hours into playing the game, so I think it's time for a break. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit lengthy <laughs> blind playthrough because at some points I was not very fast with solving some item puzzles. But yeah, the adventure games can be <laughs> really tricky sometimes. Let's save it and. See you later.